Hey there rockers, so now that you learned the easy C chord, let's see how we can put it into a song with another chord. So we're going to learn how to go from the easy G to the easy C and back again. Alright, so you know this chord, easy G, and you know this chord, easy C. Not so easy that C though, because you have to get your finger just right. Now what's even less easy is switching between the two, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So we got our G and our C. Now the trick with this is to keep our hand in a position where we can get easily from one to the other. Right? It's like dancing with those fingers. So we want to practice that. Okay? Now I have one more tip that I didn't talk about last time. And that is to get this thumb straight on the back of the neck, almost like a fret wire on the back of the neck. Get those fingers curved out. There's also another thing I wanted to bring up. Don't make your hand like Spider-Man. Spider-Man's like this. He shoots out of his wrist, right? I see a lot of guitar players are stuck like this, like Spider-Man. We want to be like Wolverine, right? He's got those cat claws. So no Spider-Man, we want Wolverine, okay? Let's just practice going from the G to the C. Ready? Uh, on the one, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. Every time I get to one, we're changing chords. Starting on the G. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, let me give you a rhythm. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to learn a chord progression that's much more complicated than the ones we've learned so far. Look at the screen. It is a 12 bar progression. Now that might be something where you're saying, what 12 bar? What kind of bar? A bar is another word for a measure and all it means is a grouping of beats. In this case, a bar is a grouping of four beats. So we have, for this progression, 12 groupings of four beats. 12 bars. The first eight bars are going to get a G chord. I'm going to do this super fast. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Then we get to the C chord. Now, when we get to that C chord, we're only going to play the first two beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then when we get to that G chord, at the end, the last two bars, same thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, if this is in any way confusing to you, that's fine, that's normal. Let your ears do the learning. Let's start by playing just on the first beat. Okay, now let's play on every beat. But when we get to the C, we're only going to play on the first two beats. First two beats on the G. Again. First two beats, here comes the C. First two beats on the G.
congratulations rockers, you just learned how to read a lead sheet. This is one of the most popular ways that musicians communicate with each other on how to play a song. They give each other a sheet of paper that lists out the chord changes and how long you stay on each chord. So that's a great step forward. In the next video, we're going to play a chord progression that's way simpler to read, but a little bit harder to play. And it uses the same two chords, easy G to easy C. So we'll see you in that video.